Hey guys, John here. Today we're in Citrus, and let's make a nice pad today. So let's go from default subtractive to default subtractive, and we have a saw wave. So let's go to the filter, turn this cut knob all the way to the top, so we can kind of hear what's happening here. And in our main tab, let's increase this order to about five, and then let's drop down the pitch, and let's drop down the phase, because we're going to do that ourselves. So let's go to the operator here, and for the phase random, let's make this pretty substantially different. And then for the pitch here on the unison, let's change this ever so slightly. And the bottom one ever so slightly as well. And for the phase for unison as well, we can actually do a pretty big move here and we can delete that point here and kind of do something like that. Okay, so now we need to work a little bit on our volume envelope, so we can do that here in the filter. So for volume and then envelope here, let's kind of rearrange this here. So this first point here, let's kind of drag this substantially high up, mark on tempo, and kind of just feel where, how long we want this attack. It's a little too short, let's increase this here. I could actually go a little bit longer than that, maybe two and a half, see how that feels. Okay, this seems pretty good. Now for our decay, we can also like bring this up and extend this as well. And then our release is gonna be pretty long, right? Long attack, long release, and then maybe in kind of concave this curve here, just a little bit here. And scroll out, see what we got here. I prefer maybe a little bit longer release. Okay, that's pretty cool here. So this is going to be the saw wave, right? So now for the second operator, what we can do is let's right click, change this to a square, and then drop this down two octaves by bringing this to zero, and then the 0.5 right here, and sneak this into the filter. So now there's a couple things we need to change on this as well, kind of how we did for the first one. So if we go to the second operator here and then go for the phase random, let's kind of randomize this as well, something kind of substantial like that. And then for the unison phase, we can do the same thing and remember delete this middle point here. Kind of fitting it a little bit better. Okay, so we have that kind of tonality here too as well. And now something that's kind of nice to give a little bit of interesting texture on the top end, we're gonna choose operator three. And what we're gonna do is maybe change this to a triangle wave. And then let's kind of sneak this a little bit in the mix here, something kind of like this. And then what we wanna do is actually do some frequency modulation to that operator to kind of give it a little bit more interesting timbre. So for that, we're gonna use four. So find the four here and scroll down till we find three and let's kind of change this a little bit here. And we can always mute these first two to kind of see what it sounds like. And then let's increase the pitch on operator number four. Something about eight. And let's bring these other ones in here and see how this sounds all together. And something before we move on here, let's go to our main tab here and let's go for oversampling. Let's go to maybe four times or something like that. Now this third operator is a very subtle effect, right? A little bit goes a long way, so try not to overdo it. Okay, so at this point, I think we're kind of okay for some filter modulation here. So let's go to our cutoff envelope here and let's bring our cutoff down. Now we also want some type of attack here on the envelope, so let's drag this over to the right. Let's turn on tempo as well, and let's kind of drag this out because if we remember the attack 
of the uh, main sound is a little bit past two. So maybe if we go a little bit further, so the filter is still opening up by the time we've reached maximum amplitude for the volume. And then for the decay here, let's kind of increase this a little bit here. Maybe it increases concave. And then we also do want a release. So let's right click and drop a release point over here. And then let's increase the view again. So that, that fades out a little bit too quick. Let's kind of increase this here. Something to uh, let's not go negative here. Maybe we can increase the whole thing here. And something to keep in mind, if we want to just grab this point and move everything here, make sure that this arrow here is selected. So we grab this point here and it's going to move everything in conjunction. If we had this off here, we're really just going to be moving this point like that. So I just thought I'd point that out there while we're here. And we can always bring this down just a little bit. So that sounds pretty good here. Let's go to the main tab here for our EQ. Scroll up here to make this a different type, this peaking here. And let's find that kind of low, nasty mud that's kind of always in this mix here. As we can boost it here with the slider. And kind of clean it up there. Okay, so we have something cool here. Now, in this case, I, it would be kind of nice to have the cutoff on a macro, so on the X here. So let's go ahead and map that as well. So go to our filter here on the cut. Let's go to mod X and drag the right point all the way up and then the left point all the way down, something like that. So if we go to our main here, our X is now going to be our cutoff. And let's do the same thing for our resonance. So resonance and then mod Y. And let's do something kind of like this here. And let's see how that is. So now we can use this as an XY. Okay, so something kind of like that. And now we haven't even really gotten into effects here. So let's go to our effects panel here, and then let's give it a little bit of effects here. And what's kind of nice is if we go to these presets here, there's quite a lot of cool, useful ones here. So let's see what stereo I sounds. It's generally one of my favorites for the chorus presets. And then we also need a little bit of delay. So let's turn this on here. And we go for ping pong. And maybe give it a little bit more volume. Some more feedback. And then go for the second delay. Let's turn this one on as well. And the time for this one's three. And the time for the first one is also three. So we kind of maybe want to change that. So maybe for the second delay, let's maybe go to four. And then for our reverb, let's select this here. And then for the reverb category, we can check out Cathedral and see how that sounds.
But yeah, there we go. And it's kind of nice to play this in conjunction with the XY pad, playing with the resonance and the cutoff at the same time. And kind of just really feeling, especially on those delay throws, right? If we hold down a node and kind of go up really high to this top right corner and then kind of pull back, we can still get the nice clarity of those delays while we still have that swelling kind of lower end pad here, something like this. Yeah, so that is that pad. I'm not exactly sure what we should call this one here. Um, maybe pad of mysteries, right? Does that sound kind of cool? Okay, so I'll call this mat pad of mysteries. And if you'd like to get the pad of mysteries, there's a link in the video description below. And keep in mind, I save these always on the top left here. Um, that's not really a concern in Citrus, but just really for FL stuff in general. If you're kind of downloading other patches, I do keep that in mind that I save them from this top menu here, as opposed to like the interface ones, which Citrus doesn't have, but Toxic has and so on and so forth. But yeah, I thought I'd mention that before we go. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you learned something. We'll see you in the next video.